Hello everybody, myself Joyce Jayabharati, student from University Science of Malaysia and from the Division of Biophysics Technology. I'm here to present and explain regarding the experiment held for the subject called IBK213 Bioreactor Operation. The experiment entitled Investigation of KLA Value, which is also known as the Volumetric Mass Transfer Coefficient via the Bioreactor Operation. It is often used in order to compare the efficiency of bioreactors and as an important scale-up factor. This um, spectacle was held to, to uncover the objectives of to understand and apply the gassing out method for the experiment to determine the driving force, which is the C star minus CL of the third tank reactor with bubble aeration, to measure the volumetric mass transfer coefficient of the steric tank reactor with the bubble aeration and also to quantify the possible effects of operating variables on the provision of oxygen. So the materials used in this um, experiment are nutrient broth, nitrogen gas and air. As for the apparatus, um, rotameter, jacketed batch reactor with agitation system, LabQuest software and also the dissolved oxygen probe. As for the methods, there are two steps to be followed. Firstly, would be the calibration of dissolved oxygen electrode. Why this is done? Because um, after the sterilization, it will give the optimized reading for the dissolved oxygen. The calibration is then performed under process control. The second step is the static gassing out method. And during this uh, process, the oxygen concentration of the solution is lowered by static gassing out with the nitrogen gas. Calibration of dissolved oxygen electrodes. The uh, procedure are as follow. For the static gassing out method, below are the gist of what is to be um, referred to upon doing the experiment. During um, the experiment, few precautionary steps were followed. Firstly, is to follow the instructions provided with the software and also the probe documentation. Next is to handle the DO probe with care as it is very expensive and also very fragile. Thirdly, is to make sure that the probe do not hit the impeller when it is inserted into the bioreactor. As fourth, um, it is recommended to turn off the agitation whenever putting or taking out the probe from it. Nextly, is to use clean or sterile glassware and accessories when contacting cell with the um, containing media. Last but not least, during the autoclaving process, the glass vessel must be vented at all times and release the autoclave pressure only when the temperature has dropped to 90 degrees Celsius. As for results, we, it is comprised of three parts and let us refer to the first one which is on the data that it, that is important for this experiment because we get to um, obtain the DO level which stands for the dissolved oxygen level the percentage of it and then the driving force and from the driving force we then calculate the lawn driving force and as to observe from the table what we should identify is the uh, maximum saturation and from there we are able to derive it to the uh, driving force with the formula of percentage of dissolved um, oxygen at 100% saturation minus the percentage of dissolved oxygen at respective time and from there we can obtain the value for driving force and after obtaining the value for driving force we can actually calculate the long driving force value nextly would be the graph so in here we can see the graphs of driving force and next to it would be the long driving force and from here what is the main part to be analyzed is the slope and the equation that we obtain from each long graphs lawn um, of driving force that we have obtained that is more vital for us to identify the KLA value in this experiment. Next is followed by the um, value of lawn driving force for the flow rate of 3 and 4 liter per minute. And as for the third part is from all the information that we have gathered, the lawn driving force, we are able to determine the value of KLA and hence from that we obtain the graph of volumetric mass transfer coefficient against the air flow rate. And from the result obtained, it's clearly obvious that the um, air flow rate of 4 
liter per minute has the highest volumetric mass transfer coefficient. This is um, analyzed from all the graphs that we have obtained before and from there we are able to determine the value that the KLA is produced at the highest flow rate of the value available. For the discussion of this experiment done, and the purpose, the main purpose was to calculate the um, KLA value at different aeration flow rate and with the variables such as gas bubble size, the mixing, the air flow rate and also the properties of the liquid medium. All these variables were controlled and uh, the KLA coefficient value was acting as the dependent variable. And overall, we were able to uh, plot the graph of lawn driving force against time, obtaining the linear equation, which then which then gives us the slope that um, indicates the KLA value. And not only that, from the results obtained, we can clearly see that there are several se sequences to follow or to go through to obtain the KLA value which is then used to compare the efficiency of the bioreactor. The different values used were aspectively used to see the effect on the KLA determination and according to the results the dissolved oxygen values are higher at high value of flow rates where the value of dissolved oxygen for, for the 4 liter per minute air flow rate at time intervals of 40 seconds is 38.9 percentage and the highest at 520 seconds which has the value of 91.1 percentage wills for the 1 liter per minute air flow rate at 40 seconds the dissolved oxygen percentage value is around 5.9 and the highest is only uh, around 97.9 at the seconds of 1360 these results clearly show that the dissolved oxygen concentrations are constantly affected by the aeration rate. And uh, from the draw from the lawn of driving force graph that we have obtained against time, the value of Kelly is determined by the slope. And the value of the slopes for all the graphs are in negative value because the driving force or oxygen concentration is uh, decreasing from time to time as the time goes by. As for the factor affecting the outcome of the experiment, which is now we take into consideration with the um, aeration rate, the KLA value increases with respect to the aeration rate. Uh, so it can simply mean the increase of aeration volumetric flow rate will actually cause an increase in the mass transfer coefficient value. This is because the high air flow rate allows more oxygen to enter into the bioreactor for a particular time. And from the result that we have clearly obtained from this experiment, the time taken to reach the saturated level of the dissolved oxygen concentration decreases with the increase in mass transfer coefficient, which is the KLA value. The other factors that can affect the determination of KLA would be the agitation speed. In this experiment, the agitation speed was set up as a constant variable, which is the 100 RPM for different aeration rates. The agitation speed that involves the impeller used to mix well the media culture and affects the determination of KLA. So theoretically, the higher value of dissolved oxygen could be obtained from the optimum agitation speeds. This is because the higher the agitation speed, it will rupture the structure and components of the media culture. And um, another factor that plays an important role is the temperature as well because um, the concentration of dissolved oxygen can be affected by higher or like an uncertain temperature because it is related to the balancing of temperature for the saturation or the concentration. To get the great or better value of KLA, which involves the equilibrium solubility, the optimum temperature is vital to maintain the dissolved oxygen concentration all right guys that's all from me for this session thank you very much for watching and being all ears thank you